Hello? There's the game sound. Lovely. A jubbly. <coughs> Hello everyone, how are we doing today? We are back with Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Making sure everything's hunky dory. Before we get started, before I melt into my chair, don't know why, but I'm absolutely boiling today. No idea why. And, oh, the pupper is just. Two seconds, guys. Oh, maybe they dim the brightness, maybe? I mean, told my life is too bright. Let's have a cheeky gander. Uh, maybe a different light. No, that's worse. I think that's quite good. Uh, <coughs> well, let me know. I can, I can change it on the fly. Alright, instead of standing around all day with our twiddling our thumbs, let's get on with it. We are at Dragon... Ooh. The game has such good music. I know. This... I don't know. In this game in particular, the the music has gotten so much love. I, like... I went to see the um, Symphony of the Goddess. Uh, by the way, hello P Perilous Platypus. I should start off with that. Hello. How are you today? Um, <coughs> sorry. Uh, I went to see the um, Symphony of the Goddess. Uh, I can't exactly remember when, but at some point, um, I think 2014, 2015, was it? Yeah, about three or four years ago. And uh, they, instead of doing a Wind Waker bit, they just did the Dragon Roost Island. That's how much they love it. Oh, no, no, they no, did do Wind Waker. But they specifically highlighted this by making this its own section. People love this. Oh, yeah, if, if the... I don't know if they're going to do another tour. I bloody hope so, because I want to go see them again. But if anyone gets a chance to see the Symphony of the Goddess, 100% go. Even if you're just, like, kind of a Zelda fan, I would seriously recommend it, because the music... Some of the best in video gaming, I think. In case you guys couldn't hear that, my missus, uh, who came along with, obviously, um, said that she came with me. At that point, she wasn't a Zelda fan. She didn't really know much about it. Uh, but she went anyway, and she loved the music and actually made her want to play it. It really is. They put a lot of effort into music for these games. They really have. Oh, sorry. They really want, she really wanted to play the games and the music, I suppose, if you ever get the chance. I, I have sheet music for the music. Uh, for piano and ocarina, because I own an ocarina. A Zelda themed ocarina. That's right. Who is this meant to be? What do you want from me? I don't want to talk to anyone right now. Well, I'm talking to you. Talk to me. I was told to talk to you. Uh, screw you. Maybe I need to talk to someone else first. I think I did. Is it blue with some yellow triangle? Uh, is it blue or purple? It's definitely blue. It's definitely blue. By the way, the purple purple is colorblind. I am colorblind, so I don't know. <laughs> I need to double check every single color. Uh, okay. not every single blue and purple. So I can't. Uh, and reds and pinks and yeah, fine. I'm colorblind. <laughs> so yeah, I'm colorblind. So hey, that's why I predominantly dress in black because it's hard to bugger that up. And plus, it stems from university when I had all black clothes to make it easier to wash. Uh, the wash that I got for you is blue. You absolutely loved it, and then I told you it was pink. After a while. <laughs> oh, hey, Elder, how you doing? Uh, quick look, I'm going pointing. Oh, nice. Have one on. What I say on me? Up, dip. Mm, yeah. 
Have one and think of me. <laughs> no, yeah, so I, uh, we went shopping for shirts. Uh, and I I saw one. I was like, oh, wow, this one looks really nice. Yeah, I thought it was a blue, a sort of blue and white sort of checkers. I was like, oh, wow, that's really good. And Kate, Mrs. Panda, was all like, oh, okay, yeah, let's, let's go with that. I wore that for months. And she, I was like, I really like this blue shirt. And she went, what blue shirt? I was like, this one. She goes, Pink. And I was like, what? No, I, I still wear it because it looks damn good. Anyway. Yes, I have an ocarina. And yes, it's blue with the uh, yellow triangles. I bought it in first year of uni, so that's what? Oh, Christ, nine years ago? Ugh. Sorry? Can you play it? I can, I used to be able to. I'll probably need some practice. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll practice and uh, it, when I beat the game, uh, Zelda game, I will play some Ocarina. That is actually one of those annoying people that straight away can play eight games five on camera. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an inherent, I, I don't know. I'm so jealous. I can play several instruments, but I can never play. Why don't you just come sit here and join the stream? I, should, I can't be arsed. I'm, I'm, com I'm, I'm comfortable here. Oh, I need to give you the letter. Hang on. Uh, Mailbag. Boom. Um. Yeah. Musically talented, I guess. Very annoyingly talented. Oh, I don't. I don't want to toot my own horn, but that might just prove the point. <laughs> Da 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 jokes. Okay. <laughs> Ugh, right. You're in this letter too, you know. Let me just do this. <laughs> yeah. I actually can't play the horn. Any brass instruments. Uh, I think I once tried to play the trumpet. I think in my primary school, they had, in a music class, they had a trumpet and they let everyone have a go. I could not make that thing make any sort of sound. As soon as you said the trumpet, for me it was straight away that meme uh, from uh, one of the recent videos that you did with the dad, with dad and his kid. Oh, with the trombone! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> now it's all repeat in my mind. <laughs> it's a good song. It's a fantastic song, what are you talking about? <laughs> Man, this little guy's a brat. Just give me the pearl. Let me get on with my life. Yeah, I can't play any brass instruments. It's kind of annoying, really. They sound cool. Play some smooth jazz on the trumpet. Oh, has, uh, talking of Zelda music, has anyone uh, heard um, or seen that video of the street performer on the tuba playing the Zelda sort of theme? It's awesome. Next time, well, Thursday, I will... God, it's only Monday today. It feels like a Tuesday for some reason. Um, where am I going? So yeah, on Thursday, I'll try and find the link to the video, and uh, I'll post it here. Hey, Alicia, how's it going? I will find it if I, if I can. I'm sure it's on YouTube somewhere. I can't go this way! Where's the, where's the thing? The thingy thing. I'm lost. Is there like a map down here? There is! It's not helpful at all. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, maybe it's this way. <laughs> good, good, you eyes. And something, and smiles. I smile. Right, I'm meant to be down there. So I need to go down as well. At least you have no idea what you're talking about. What are you wondering about? What you want about? What you talking about, Willis? Like, you her how she did. Oh, I did, didn't I? I'm good. I'm good. I'm happy. Go jolly. 
I'm drinking, what can I say? Today, everyone, my drink of choice is port. Uh, but I do have some beers for later. Gluten-free beers. Yummy, yummy. In my tummy. Indeed. Do I have any bottles? No. I don't need a bottle for this. I thought I did. Yep. Uh, yeah, I did. I did a twenty-three. Oh, what are gluten-free beers, maybe? That's a very good question. Gluten-free beers are made from. Hang on. Oh, it's vegan too. How about that? Ingredients, water, malted barley, yeast, and hops. Hang on, isn't yeast? That's wheat. So there's no wheat in it. So basically, it's water, malted barley, yeast, and hops. And that's it. Yum. Indeed. Another grain. I'm not that savvy as to what, where gluten comes from, what it is, and what it does. Because I literally learned a couple of weeks ago, I found out, that I might be gluten intolerant. So I still have no idea. I do need to do some research. I'm not paying attention to anything this girl said, but I've played this game before. So. so I'm gonna make my glass an easier place for me to reach. Right in front of my face. There you go. A really long draw. We have metal swords, they're nowhere near that long. I try I once tried to do that thing, I'm sure everyone has. Where they like feed swords into each other, never bloody worked. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not that fussed about the gluten thing. Apparently, so I did a 23 in me, a test, and they said, "Oh, you have some genetic markers that indicate you might have a slight intolerance to gluten." Oh, 23 in me is a genetical testing thing. Uh, so you spit in a in a in a tube. You send it off and they like unravel it and get your DNA and then they analyze it versus like a, how big is their database? Millions. Millions of genetic examples and they compare your DNA with what they have in farm and say okay this, your bit of DNA here is similar to that so that means it is likely it, it is not a good it's not a definitive thing but they say it is likely that you are like this. They got me pretty spot on, apart from a few things. But they said that you have markers that might suggest you have a slight gluten intolerance. And actually, I have started to notice whenever I have a lot of gluten, my tummy's a little bit upset. And it's all very bloated. So I might actually have gluten intolerance. Yeah, oh god, yeah. I mean, but the thing is, that it doesn't affect me uh, like massively. So I, I was, I still have bread. I still have gluteny things. But I, if I can avoid it, generally I will. Yeah, yeah. Uh, crumpets. They were okay. They were very dry and very crumbly. I did, we didn't have any butter at the time. Oh. No, I think even before I put them in the toaster, they're just inherently very crumbly. Make it! Lovely. Now how am I meant to get up there? Yeah, I mean, I've had gluten-free, like, buns in the past, and they were... They were pretty good. They're still a bit dry. I've noticed a lot of gluten-free bread tend to be very dry. Um, so... But they're still learning. I mean, gluten intolerance is, is still relatively new. Much like vegan uh, food is relatively new, and sometimes it's just falafel. <laughs> you know. The thing is, I don't eat... The thing, we've noticed uh, a lot with... Hey, a bottle! Exactly what I need. Um, a lot of gluten-free stuff has egg in it, I guess, to sort of replace the wheat. And I don't eat eggs. Eggs weird me out. Um, it's weird that we're eating. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that. Uh, 
Uh, and so, if I'm looking at gluten free stuff and it's like got egg in it, I'm just sitting there going, I'll just have a normal bread, if that's alright with you. Oh, sourdough, I love sourdough. No. Really? It must be to do with the replacing of the actual wheat gluten y type thing. I am the baker here. God damn it, I keep throwing it in the water. Am I meant to land it on like the top? Because that would suck. Oh, time it just right. Not like that. This might take me a while. In the meantime, how's everyone doing today? Bugger. Failed again. It's Monday. The biggest thing for me to happen to me all day is Discord went down. Ah, I need to direct it. Well, nailed it. <clears throat> yeah, Discord went down today. It was very strange. I logged into my Discord somehow, and it was like no one was online. It was very unsettling. It's the least people I've seen online, like, ever. In other people's Discord. Mine tends to be pretty quiet because I think there's only four of us on it. If you want to join my Discord, you can. I'll post a link. Shameless plug. Because why not? This is my channel. Yeah, there you go. Uh, oh, I need to get it in the thing. Nope, not like that. Let's try and line it up. Well, my okay. Bro! Nope. Yeah, Cloudflare. They had. I, uh, I read that they have quite a few. Like, services on their. Oh, that didn't work. Like, I think they, they also. Like. Ah, uh, my bum! Why is that a death? So I burn my ass and I get sent to the beginning of the area. Where's the sense in that? Walk it off, Link. Yeah, they also do Crunchyroll and I think one other big service. But yeah, I read the article about it and it said, oh, there was a routing leak. And I'm like, what the f does that mean? Are you just throwing technical jargon at people hoping they'll forget the fact that you well, well, shit. Hey, mage, how's it going? Join us as we start bitching about Discord going down today. Yeah, they kept saying routing or root routing. What am I, American? A routing link. Um, and I'm just saying they're going, is that meant to mean anything? It means nothing to me. I'm pretty sure to a lot of people. I think they're just throwing technical jargon at everyone to sort of push they, uh, to push them, make them think, oh, it's a technical thing. I'm sure they're on it, sort of thing. It really did. I, I was I was just saying when I logged onto the, the your Discord actually, there was like no one on, and I, it really unsettled me. And the box went down, which was really annoying because I was trying. I was going to launch a video today, and I thought, well, I might as well wait till the bot, the MEE six bot, like reawakens. Because otherwise they won't announce anything. Yeah, cool, yeah. yeah, cool, cool, buddy. Ow. I don't know. I suck at dodging. Woohoo! <laughs> that wasn't a Discord problem, I just killed everyone. Fair enough. Stuff and stuff from scratch. I thought, I thought you were waving at me, you just moved your hand. No, 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 <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Stop talking. Uh, is that meant to be a key? 
somewhere. I'm guessing in one of these. Oh. Oh, well, that went well. This game had neat side quests too with the pickup items. Yeah, like the joy. Um, actually, no, I think I said in the last uh, part there was a, there's actually a quest to do with them that is vital that you need to do them in order to get a piece of the Triforce. Where are they shooting? Oh, I need to set fire to some torches, boom. Like the most basic Zelda problem ever. Um, yeah, there's actually a, to get a piece of the Triforce, you need to buy a house from a lady by giving her like 50 joy tokens or some shit. Uh, I last played this uh, sometime in 2018 because I vowed to actually play it and finish it and I actually oh yeah before I played it then I think the last time I played it was I'm still living with my parents Four unis, I mean, like 11 years ago. Oh. <laughs> Can we stop talking about how long it's been? Make me feel old. Yeah, the, well, this is the HD remaster as well on the Wii U. Um, I, when I heard that Nintendo were like no longer going to even make the, the Wii U anymore, I ran to. Um, EX and I bought a second hand one and I bought this almost immediately and I plan on buying the Twilight Princess HD remake too because Twilight Princess has got to be up there with my favourite Zelda's and I'm finally going to buy and play Skyward Sword but I've never played it no but the very first Zelda game in the timeline It is very unfortunate. I've heard it's shite, but I'd, I'd rather, you know, make my own opinion. Yeah, I mean, if it's shit, I'll have a giggle. Yeah, getting them on the on the Switch would be awesome, but I think if they went to all the effort of getting them on the Wii U, I don't know if they would, like, bother doing it again to get them on the Switch. But then again, they'd make if they should be more like Square Enix and release Final Fantasy IX on ten different platforms, but people will still buy it. Case in point, I now own Final Fantasy IX on three different platforms. Yeah, sorry, I just keep buying it. <laughs> Fuck the new Zelda! Oh my god, I've already planned what I'm gonna do. The trailer looks amazing. The trailer. Oh, that trailer then picked apart. You own Final Fantasy IX on five different platforms. That's fantastic. Well, I own it on original uh, PS1, Steam, and Switch. The oh, hey, that's not nice. The control of the Star Wars I'm getting used to with motion controls. That's why I want to play it on the Wii U, not the Wii, so I can use this instead. Two PS1, two PS1 copies. Oh, one is still sealed. Oh, man, how much is that worth? Uh, so yeah, New Zelda. What I'm planning to do is something going to jump out. Yeah. Um, like a certain period of time before it comes out, I'm going to take some time off and stream the first one in master mode and then hopefully i'll complete that before the new one comes out and i'll just stream that for probably about five seven days straight because oh, you can't play master mode straight away you have to beat a third or maybe if i'm really good which i'm not i might play it and then play master mode all in seven days it won't happen don't worry <laughs> the likelihood of that happening is slim. Yeah. 
Yeah. God, yeah. It's, uh, the colloquialism is Electric City or something? Yeah, something like that. There's so many shops that have retro consoles in almost perfect condition. I cannot wait. Cannot wait. Uh, but, 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 but. I don't know how they're going to top Breath of the Wild, but so glad they're keeping with that art style. I'm so glad they've kept it in the same uh, universe, much like um, well, the Link Between Worlds is a continuation of Link to the Past. Um, I'm so glad they're keeping in that Hyrule because there's so much in that, so much in that game that people probably would never even look at. But they might get an opportunity to fully explore it. Um, what am I meant to do here? I think I need to throw a rock at it. I'm just really glad they stick uh, stuck with the same iron. Oh, you do! Ah! Okay. And you scroll back up. Uh, check out the chat. The art style of Breath of the Wild is amazing. It has to be said. It is, yeah. I'm not a fan of the art style with the new Link's Awakening. I'm going to say it now. I haven't looked at it and I'm not a fan. But it's still my favourite Zelda game. So I'm, gonna play. I'm also going to take some time off to play that too. On stream. Because I'm a big old Zelda man. Uh, and the t-shirt. Woohoo! Um, never realised before that the weapons can pick up. Yeah, the, the pickup system in this, you can. Yeah, but it's, it's not as cool as Breath of the Wild, because you don't get to keep the... This is the bloody beginning zone, is it not? I've just gone all the way bloody back. How the hell that worked? Um, you didn't finish your first time. I didn't. <laughs> I have no idea what I was going to say. You can't keep the weapons you pick up in this game, unfortunately. I like it when they do direct sequels. Uh, I, I kind of guess uh, Majora's Mask kind of counted. Um, no, Link's Awakening is an awesome, awesome game. Yeah, I mean, I had I had the Link's Awakening DX, so the the Game Boy Color version with the additional color dungeon. It was awesome. It's the first Zelda game I played. It's the first Zelda game. I uh, yeah, love it. And uh, uh, Platypus is right, it's got a lot of depth in the, uh, in the game. Yeah. I know I'm playing the exact same room again, but I've obviously missed something. Yeah. Yeah, it's really deep. I actually class it as one of probably the darkest Zelda games. But if you've never played any Dungeon of the Story, I can't tell you why. Tease. I've just going around in a fat circle. I really have. What am I meant to be doing? I'm just going around in a goddamn circle. You said that you played it before. I have, but it's been a while. This is the very first dungeon. I'm used to the... Oh, there's a door there with a keyhole. <laughs> I'm dumb. <laughs> I lack common sense. My battery is low on my controller. No. How's it gonna work? Not well. Hang on. Mm. On the fly maintenance. Mm. Okay. I try and do this without destroying my desk. He has a very complicated setup. I know it's just covered in wires because the wires can't go on the floor because, because we have a puppy and he'll bloody chew them. Oh, done. Okay. My first one's Ocarina. I'm enjoying going through the game after so many years. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> plot twist. Um, yeah, I love uh, Link's Awakening. No, sorry. Link's Awakening is the first game I owned, played, and completed. But my first game I had seen was Ocarina because I used to watch my brother, uh, my older brother, play it. Kind of, I guess, is why I like Let's Play so much. It was sort of my first Let's Play experience. Stop hitting me, it's mean! Do -do -do -do. 
Oh, gotcha. Uh, oh wait, did that guy have a big old sword? He did not. But I think you can also burn them. Yeah, except fire the shit. Yeah, I'll tell you what I need to do. I still have a GameCube somewhere. Story time. Back when I lived in London, uh, I didn't have a Wii U, I had a GameCube, and I was constantly on the lookout for Wind Waker on the GameCube, because it also came with... Uh, a certain edition also came with um, Ocarina of Time Master Quest. Um, why? What is that meant to be? Oh, it's love. Um, and so I was always on the lookout for it. And I found it. It was in it was in uh, another CEX, funnily enough, because I got a master. No, no, go away, go away. Come closer, you birdie bitch. Nope. Yeah, give me your stuff. What do you have? Nothing. Okay. Um and so I took it to the till. I was all excited to get uh, Wind Waker, Wind Waker, and Last Quest. All in one package. Gave him the box. He said, give me a second, I'll get the disc. Went off and he said, um, we don't have it. I'm like, what are you talking about? You clearly do, I have the box. He went, no, no. What's in the Wind Waker sleeve that he had? Wasn't Wind Waker. It was the Simpsons hit and run. I think you can agree. Ever so slightly different. What am I meant to do here? Extremely disappointing. Absolutely is. Um, can I sidle here? Oh, what the shit is this? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah. Um, it is a great game. I had it on the original Xbox, I think. But it ain't Zelda, as you say. It ain't Zelda. And so I was pissed. But I was like, okay, can you still sell it to me? With... Can I... Because I, I, I just want the uh, Master Quest now. If you don't have Wind Waker. But I ain't paying half full price for it. And he was like... It was, I think it was 25 quid. He said, how about 20? I was like, how about 15? But he wouldn't go any lower. So I paid 20 quid for Master Quest. But ain't it in the wind... Oh, and, and a, I guess free hit and run. So I have Master Quest on GameCube, which I guess I could also play on here at some point, which would be pretty cool. So it's, it's a good game. I also have it on 3DS, but I'm, I think I'm stuck somewhere. Can't remember where. Ooh, it's a lot! It's a lot! Well, why? Why am I dodging? Uh, oh, it's Tetra. Tetra. Oh no, what? Oh, it's my boat. My boat is talking to me through a magic jam. Gotta be the weirdest sentence I've ever said. I actually didn't even pay attention to what he said. Too busy talking to you lovely viewers. Open the chest, thank you. I've got all this beer and a bottle opener. Oh no! Oh no! Or, if I was, you know, if I didn't care about my dental health, I could always, like, do that thing where people open bottles with their teeth that always make, always make me want to gag. I do have rings, but they're, again, they're in another room. And if I'm going to another room to get a ring, I might as well get the bottle. Uh, we had to stop wearing rings primarily due to... Because of the puppy. We, uh, so I normally have my wedding ring and my cladder ring on. But the puppy was like, ooh, something shiny. So I'm chewing it. Claddering. Claddering is a traditional Irish ring. Um, spelled extremely funny, but that's because it's Irish. 
Uh, yeah. You get, uh, uh, everyone in my family got a clatter ring when they were 18 because we were Irish. Um, Have you ever seen a it's very cool. It's two, two hands like this. And in between it is a heart, and the heart has a crown on it. Very cool. I don't remember what it's Panda wife cannot acquire? She can, but she's lazy. Uh, the bottom. Oh. Mrs. Panda can, but she just made the sort of oh, <laughs> face. So no, I'm, apparently, I'm not going to get my bottom. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Mrs. Panda is apologising for wearing a Christmas jumper, but it's the most comfortable jumper she owns. And because all my jumpers are in the wash. No, you tell you tell you one you always steal is the maid maid mashes uh, hoodie. It's comfortable. It's damn comfortable. It really is comfortable. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, it's down here. Oh. Yeah. On my lower shelf. Ah, uh, uh, it's all hidden. It is. You may pick the first one I drink. Ooh. Yeah. I say you may. Can you please pick the first one I drink? You have the absolute, you know, you have the uh, pleasure oh, oh, of picking oh, oh. my first drink. Lucky you. Aren't you lucky? We actually haven't tried a few of these. I haven't tried Ooh. the gluten one. Ari is really interested. <laughs> of course he is. Is it something I can steal and eat? Oh, you got a few same, same ones. Yeah, they didn't have a lot of choice, unfortunately. They turned to it. Uh, they, a lot of them were sold out. Dead oh. Pony was sold out. I was really disappointed. Yeah, it's one brewery that is incredibly popular in Scotland. Yeah, dude, your hoodie is super, super comfortable. And Ari steals it too because it's so soft. He once stole it and was sort of half lying on it, half pulled on himself. It was. I, th I think I posted that in your Discord. Or was it my Discord? Probably both. Yeah. Probably both. That's high up. Yeah, everyone steals my Mage Master hoodie. I barely get a chance to wear it. I was actually going to wear it today, but when I was bloody freezing, but it's still wet from the wash. I should have had it. Oh good, I did put it on your list. Sweet. Uh, I'm guessing I need to light that, but I don't have anything to light it with. Unless there's something in here I can use. Or is it just money, 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 money? Hello! Did not expect to see you in there. Right about. Done. Not done, Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, we'll one tough cookie. Got to. Get on outside. Yeah, he knows his own friends outside, but they're not going to Is it the little lady? Is it the little lady? No, it's not the little lady. Good, he's not going to go outside then. <laughs> Oh, Eric. Eric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Such a non-doggy yeah. name, Eric. Oh, no, but he's lovely. He is very nice. Now. Brody's amazing. Brody's uh, our uh, neighbor's cocker spaniel, and he's utterly, utterly adorable. Uh, but no, he wouldn't. He, our puppy's not going to go out because he's been misbehaving today. Yeah. Two days in a row. He's been very possessive over his, uh, the ball we throw, and he's um, yeah. gone after... Uh, other puppies, and we don't abide our sort of behavior. Yeah, we're very strict when it comes to. Uh, did you do that? Yeah! Good memory, me! Oh, that worked. Ah! Did not expect you. I'm hoping for a pussy! But you are not. Yay! Alrighty. What do you do? Ah. What we got? Oh. What we got then? Ah, the gluten free beer. Yeah, have a look. Should be very. I think it's the first one that we were going to try. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, uh, well, no, it, it's, it's brew dog. Yeah. yeah, this is the first gluten beer free. Uh, gluten beer. 
<laughs> gluten free beer. The first gluten free beer I'm trying. It's nice, but you can totally tell it's gluten free. Yeah. Yeah. It's lacking a certain something. You can totally tell it's, um, it's nice. Volume. Volume. <laughs> it's lacking a certain volume. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's very exactly, yeah. So, very nice beer. It's just a. Oh, dear. Oh, shit, that guy's alive. Come on, then. No, what the fuck? That is bullshit. Yeah, it's, Luke, it's lacking gluten panda. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> Uh, but, yeah, it's lacking gluten, but my, my, um, tummy will be happy later. Oh, fuck. Don't backflip, you son of a bitch. Your buns are burning. I'm wondering if this guy should actually be dead by now. So I'm too busy... I'm getting myself to notice. Lots of hearts, thank you. Right. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Lift me up. That's not good. He's wake me up, not lift me up. You, you, wait, you lift me up? Song. No, you raise me up. You raise me you up so <laughs> something I like can be stronger, something rather. Like I'm that. good with words. Right here. Oh, the first. Could you read you? Da, 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 da. I've got the song stuck in my head now. Do, 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 do. What's next on the conversational bucket list? We talked about so many things today already, I and mean, we're only 45 minutes in. Oh, talked about the fact that I found out I'm doing free. The fact that I'm colourful. Do you know what I was really impressed with the 23andMe? For those who missed it, I did a 23andMe genetic test for shits and giggles. Um, what I found super shocking was how accurate they were, because they, based on your genetic markers, they make certain assumptions about you. Um, and one of the assumptions was, oh, you know, you, um, on a day, when you don't have an alarm, you're likely to wake up around 8.30 to 8.50, just because it's time for your body to wake up. It's like your body's internal alarm. And I was like, holy shit, they nailed it. If I don't have an alarm, I generally wake up around 9, 8, uh, 9 p.m. Yeah. 9, 8, well, if I can help at 9 p.m. Wow, I can know English today at all. Yeah, they, the estimate is I wake up at 8, 8 a.m. Yeah, they nailed it. I get up at 9 p.m. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, they make some pretty spot on assumptions about uh, how I am. You can. Oh yeah, I answered everything. They have a thing of, oh, you know, you have the option of answering loads of different questions to help us with our research. I answered every single one, and when I say every single one, I mean 480 questions. Yeah, so my they make they make sort of um based on your DNA they can sort of tell uh, oh where you where your family's from. So I think mine was mostly English and 
Irish. We've got Scandinavian in there as well, which I was shocked by. But Kate family from all over the shop. There's like there's Russian, 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 Latvian, Ukrainian, German, Italian, Kazakh. She's very European. Um, and so we were super interested in finding that out, but they said it was inconclusive. Uh, sample was inconclusive. However, they then sent a free kit. Because the kit cost like, what, 70 quid? Yeah, that's why I'm not going to No, 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 no don't forget we bought three. One for me, you, and your mum. It was a present for my exactly. mum's 50th birthday. But they sent her. Uh, they, because her results are inconclusive, they sent her a free uh, kit, which is awesome. So cool. Yeah. Well, I guess you already paid for it, and, then you, and you paid for the kit and you didn't get any of their service. That would mean I'd totally agree. Alright, it's looking very majestic and noble up there. My puppy climbed the back of the sofa and standing there like, I am surveying this room. He, he, he does. He does tend to uh, act like a cat, especially how he stretches. <laughs> I am working on Puppy Cam, by the way, so I need to buy another cam. He is lord of this uh, his domain, and basically everything in this site is his domain. Hmm. Which basically. Uh, we basically, the idea was that we would, oh. yeah, I know, shut up so I can do it. I'm trying to throw our puppy cam, and, oh, motion controls, and we're like, right, what we're going to do, because all the cameras I have are shiny, except this one. So I was going to upgrade my camera, and then use this ca old camera to look at uh, the new puppy cam. Turns out my camera is still one of the best cameras on the market at the moment, so oh, we're just going to buy a second one, I think. But for that, we need money. We need he moves. He does. We we need like an adjusting um, camera stand for it, like this. Yeah, and or yeah, or they and they can. Pass. Uh, I don't like doing it, but it is actually a puppy cam is actually put a GoPro on him. <gasps> Done. We should put a GoPro on him. I stole my sock again. Why is it with him and socks? <laughs> he loves socks. He isn't that. He does, to be fair. Haha! <laughs> -ha, I stole your. Uh, I my headphones. What? Yeah, it was the car for my headphones. Did you get the headphones? Nope, still a sign. Wait, fuck! <laughs> so it wasn't a sock. It was the goddamn Apple AirPods. <laughs> Christ alive! I thought leaving them on the bed would be fine. No, Jesus. What a lunatic. Yeah. Luckily, the airport, the actual airport's on the inside are fine. That was my main concern, that he'd open it and eat in the goddamn airport. Christ. That's true. No, we should, we should, we should have let him eat it. Pair the airport with one of our phones and play the music into his tongue. I think it would be funny. It is very cruel. But. Oh, bugger. I burned my buns again. Uh, so, yeah, going back to Puppy Cam. And we're going to do another shameless plug because I'm a dish. Puppy Cam is actually one of the goals on my Patreon. Woo! Yeah, I've got a Patreon. One of the goals is Puppy Cam. Check it out if you have a moment. No pressure whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, I'll poke the link. 
to to increase my douchiness. Sh uh, shameless plug. My channel, what the hell? Um, so yeah, that's one of the goals. If it isn't, I, I was meant to. Airpods still okay. Airpods okay. still work. Yeah, yeah. That's fine then. There you go, guys. If you're thinking of buying Apple AirPods, they will withstand a puppy drool. <laughs> they are not only waterproof, they're droolproof. <laughs> you heard it here first. There you go, Apple. You should get me to review your stuff. You did have a silicone case. Yeah, we have two. We both have airports, and we need somewhere to differentiate them. So we, uh, Kate, Kate got a um, one of the silicone cases, a colourful one. And uh, but the, the point is moot because um, I've lost mine. Not the actual AirPods, which is what everyone thought would happen. Everyone thought, oh, they fall out your ears, you never lose, you lose them all the time. They stay in my ear just fine. They actually stay... I once fell asleep with them in. I woke up the next morning with them still in. So they're great staying in your ear, but I've actually lost the whole thing. Yeah. They look hideous, though, compared to some other ones that are on the market. Uh, I have a... Uh, I actually have another Bluetooth headset, don't I? A sports one. No, they're amazing! I, hang on. They're still here. Look, they're these ones. I think they're awesome! Get away from me, bat! Get away! Get away! Don't lock me into love. You're gonna make me burn my bones. But you didn't have, you didn't like them, did you? Because you don't like in-the-ear headphones. I don't mind them. That's the thing. I don't mind them at all. Uh, what I love about those ones though is the battery life That's because true. the airpods have a battery life of about four hours playing music two hours uh, on the phone got a dash mage oh uh, no problem mage thanks for stopping by have a pleasant evening mage just pleasant not great just pleasant a pleasant evening is fine. Have a great evening, mate. Have a great evening. Oh, I hope you feel better as well. I hope you're getting over this little, little um, uh, thing that you got. Woo! I'm like Spider Man. Spider Link. Spider Link does whatever Spider Link does. Clearly not creating good rhymes. Where it swing? Yeah. Eh, not bad. So I saw the sound in the video. I had to stop the thing. What's up? Oh yeah! Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a spider can, and he can think of several things a spider can do that Spider-Man can't, like crawl in your ear and die. <laughs> no, not um. No, I thought it was, um... Why won't you do your thing? I think I need to douse in water. Something. Oh no, just hit it. Will you curl up in a ball? How do I do that? Oh wait, do I need to... There you go. Toodles, not a problem. On the men. Good to know, dude. Good to know. Probably missed you by now, but, uh, you know. Toodles. Too busy talking about bloody spider man. Do you know I'm getting used to it? Yeah. Getting used to it, yeah. Still lacks a certain something something. Well, it lacks gluten, doesn't it? But it is. You're absolutely right. We can't, like, discount it. Give me your item. Ooh, wow. Did not expect that to be that effective. Oh, with my dad. And got absolutely fucking wasted. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're going to be staggered back here. And I'm pretending my best not to be drunk by the time. Oh. 
Yeah, me and my dad used to get drunk a lot when I still lived at home. Because I used to work in the local pub as well. Oh, bugger. I used to work in the local pub as well. So I knew, I knew all the people there, I knew all the best beers. And I, I could be, um, I could tell him ahead of time, oh, your favourite beer is back on tap, you know, or something like that. Uh, yeah, I used to get... Oh, I know. What's happening? Yeah. They had, a, they had a cafe in Canada. Oh, did you? Oh, you can't yeah. create champagne because champagne is—it's it's a French thing. French. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, a, it's a certain region of French. <laughs> oh, yeah. That'd be the one. <laughs> Do you like chocolate? <laughs> Unfortunately, I have no idea what you're talking about. Really? Yeah. Well, I think it, it, if t it tends to be if you get something directly from the like the company or distributor or whatever, if you get directly from them, it's going to be way cheaper. With certain exceptions. Oh, I'm on the right floor for the booze. With the booze. See, this is where the, the gamepad really comes in handy because I can look at the map whilst I am. Whilst I play. Now, that dragon is not a happy bunny. Making all sorts of noises. Some evil creature is playing with his bum. Nope, I just fell off. Actually, probably good because I. Oh no, I went all the way back down. Son of a bitch. There's a bit of a bad to face our first boss battle. Hour into the stream. Lovely job. Oh, the Super Bunny from, um, what's that pet movie called? It's from the second movie. Oh, no. Hmm. People of Twitch. What's that film called? Where with the pet that are at home. Yeah, with the dog and they only get another dog and... Hilarity, hilarity ensues. Do they not? Yeah, it's not, an, it's not an acceptable, it's not an acceptable state to look at, really, is it? It's kind of, um, it's, um, word English, not doing so well. Offensive to you? Animal, lo animal lovers would not like it. Which does, does include us. Damn. 
ba ba da ba da ba 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 da ba Oh, there's the tail. Well, Gunner, there's nothing here. I don't understand. Oh, what is this? It's a monster. That's a pretty cool monster. To be and it really lends itself to the last half. Look who's talking comes to mind. I honestly do not know. Right, if memory serves, we have to wait for something to happen, and then we can do that. Not do that. Because what I just did was wrong. So we gotta wait for something to happen. As is the standard uh, uh, formula to Zelda game. Come on, that's it. Sweet. Put on that tail. With me. Oh, let go. Oh yes. I thought it was like cool, like pets at home. Or home pet. The second one came out really recently. Ow. Ow, I'm on fire. Whoa! This link is on fire. Secret life of pets. I think you're. I think you nailed it, Platinum. Yeah, secret life of pets. Yeah, I believe it's funny. Game. In fact, I'm almost there. No, uh, doesn't have legs. Doesn't have arms. Doesn't have ears. Ari absolutely loves it. This is such an easy way to do this boss. If you manage to land up top, your life is infinitely easier. Because I just did it. In like two well done, Platypus. Nailed it. Oh no, he ruined our strategy. No, I just finished off the ball because I realised I hadn't actually finished. Alright, what's going on now? What's going on here? What's the Karen? Ah, we have to hit it with a, a sword. I can't see what's going on! Use my trusty shield. Have oh, I just killed it? No, good. That'd be too easy. Look at that little heart. Oh, shit. Get it Hit you in the face. Hit you in the face. Now I kill you. Sweet. Job. A good. No area map. Yay! Do the happy link dance! Amiibos! I could do Amiibos today, can I? Or do you have to be in the main menu for that? I don't know. You did find my car. And they're up there. I don't know if... You... Does anyone know if you have to be in a certain area to do Amiibos in Wind Waker? Or if I could just do them at any time? I would Google it. But uh, using the internet whilst I stream would for detrimental effect to happen to the stream. Why oh, is my life just looking that way? I'm not that kind. Uh, I keep forgetting you're a mean wife. He's a happy dragon again! Yay! Okay, at the retail island. Dragon this time. Party at Dragon this time. Yay! 
And I wake up. Oh, I'm teleported to there. Fair enough. Not the most helpful place to be uh, teleported. Or maybe it is. I thought I had to go all the way back in. I hope I can be like you someday, Panda. Well, <laughs> thank you very much. Give me your orb, please. Do I need three? Yeah. Later on, we'll see that dragon fly. Um, and you'll see how ridiculous he looks. Like the Wind Waker. Massive body of a dragon. Tiny ass wings. He's a big old dragon with tiny ass wings. Use the wind, got the wind. I've already been there. I know what I'm doing. I just had a bit of slowdown there. What's next? Mr. Boatman, please tell me where to go next, because I haven't got a fucking clue. Stop! You've seen that Ganon sent those monsters in his place. That was mean. Uh, to the south! You don't think a, a Wind Waker has Amiibo support? No! Why can't I get in the boat? Let's try that again, shall we? Nope. Nope. Get me in the boat! Why can't I get in the boat? Do I have to do this? Hey. Oh! Screw you, I can do the Wind Waker thing where I got down one. Okay. No. I many times I've used the Wind Waker in the boat, and he's all like, "Oh, you have to change the tire." I'll Wind Waker wherever the fuck I want. What the hell's going on? Dip, 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 dip. Oh, there you go. I just some right control. Try googling it, but didn't seem to come up with anything. Whoa! Wait! Wait! wait. That's true. Ah! Maybe I shouldn't bitch about the uh, the Lion King because he just messed with my gamepad. <laughs> it's true. Uh, went on Amiibo, uh, Nintendo's Amiibo compatibility site and couldn't find it either. To be fair, I only assume because there's a place on the gamepad for it, but if win Wind Waker might be a bit too old. Uh, but I, um, I thought maybe when... Um, um, Dad, hi ho with the HD remake. They might have added it. I'll, I'll, look, I'll look into it and we can always try next time. Hold it right there, small fry. I kind of hate and love this guy at the same time. Bum -ba -dum. Ba -ba -bum. This is my favourite music from Wind Waker. When you're at, out at sea and it's a sailing music. Pretty awesome. Yay. Thank you very much Platypus for looking it up, by the way. Mucho appreciado. What I really should do is, um, should have bought some bait from your man, Evil. But I can always do that later. On screen or something, just, yeah, with a shark. Um, building. See, this is what I meant about Wind Waker last time. Um, 
it's a great game, but there's a lot of sitting around and waiting. Like when you're traveling between, um, when you're traveling between places. Oh, look at the, that place is important later on. So instead I'll talk to you guys, because we've got one, two, three squares to go. How is everyone doing on their lovely Monday? Here, it's been grey, rainy and awful. But that's Scotland for you. You know when you're doing a workout outside? It's just wet and sticky. Okay. It's worth saying, Mrs. Panda loves the rain. I like the rain when I'm inside with a hot cup of tea and a biscuit. <laughs> Go on then. It wasn't funny at all. Yeah, it's true, but Ooh, money. It was a drizzle. Okay. But it's good for workout, fine, but I generally prefer to be inside with a hot cup of tea when it's raining. Coco? Ah. Marshmallows are nice. But I like tea. What can I say? I'm quintessentially British and I like my tea. I, and I can't drink coffee. Yeah, you're the coffee uh, monster in this house. How many cups have you had today? I think you've had three, which is a, you know, a light day for you. You've had like five or six in the bar. Ooh, it's gone silent. Ooh, there's treasure up ahead. Anyway, how's everyone else's Monday been? I hope you had a good one. I missed it. No, you don't. You don't work Monday, do you? Lucky. Well, if I don't have a project, I don't work ever. How am I missing this? Well, yeah, this past week I've worked seven days a goddamn week. But then again, some of it is work to do with the client. Sometimes it is my work. YouTube, Twitch. Whatever. Writing. Because I'm a creative writer as well, in case you didn't know. Uh, so yeah, I'm always busy. I don't really rest that much. I'm always doing something. Rest is a myth. I'll rest when I'm dead. Work. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> the thing, the thing is, that's true. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying I'm not equating like working for a client to making YouTube videos and streaming. If I could do this uh, nine to five, five days a week, I'll be happy as Larry. In fact, that's my goal. Hence, why I set up all the Discord and Patreons and stuff. Because I want to be able to make this my full-time gig. I do. I really do. Hey. Exactly. So few people uh, like actually manage to achieve that. That if you find, if you find something you want to do, like all the time, all day, every day, and you, and after how many years have I been on YouTube? since 2014 so five years five years later if you still have a passion for it go all out i mean there's a the, the, there's a great 
um, like mentality of, you know, people were like, oh, but I don't equip my job because I need the money for rent. And sometimes you just got to jump in with both, you know, both feet, deep end, jump in. It is, it is, when I, because uh, I went from full-time employment to uh, being a contractor. So yeah, I start, uh, I started my own company and started being a contractor and a freelancer. And that, I had a great first few months. And then I had nothing for, what, five, six months? And we were in the shit. Yeah. But then business picked up, so... And in the meantime, I did YouTube, you know. <laughs> um, I was very supportive, and I knew that you should be okay. Was well, in the end. Bye! It's very tricky when you start something from scratch, regardless of what it is. It is. You don't really want to do it. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you! Absolutely, I mean... I th I'm sure any YouTuber or streamer will say, uh, oh, have you ever done contracting outside of Europe? No, I've only done UK based ones so far. Yeah, I did. I actually wanted to. Yeah. I have a couple of uh, American companies that I'm quite the fan of. And uh, at one point, uh, one of them actually needed a website. And so I, was, I wanted to contact them and be like, you know, I'm a freelance developer, and let me build your website. But it did, as Mrs. Panda said, it turns out if you're in if you're in Europe and you want to do freelance or contract work in America, you need some sort of visa. You need do need a working visa. And I'm just like, I I know. Yeah. I don't wanna... By the way, if you guys can't hear Mrs. Panda, do let me know. <laughs> She's doing an awful lot of talking. I'm nodding away. You might be sitting there going, you might be sitting there going, what the hell is she saying? I can't hear her. But please let me know if you can actually hear her. She's essentially saying that we we looked into me doing uh, work in, in mainland Europe, um, but it, it just it was just not really worth it. So we decided to stay here and focus on me, focus on. Um, Main so you can be contacting me for this time like I said in her career here instead. Which is going very very well. She's a bit faint, so Oh just come and sit here. <laughs> Oh, no one cares about your Christmas jumper. Does anyone care that my wife is wearing a Christmas jumper, even though in June? I know, it's just so comfortable. <laughs> it is bloody cold outside. Uh, what, I didn't know about the visa for... for even, yeah, even for remote. Uh, I mean, even, even then, if they say, oh, you know, you can work without a visa, you have to just come here and do it. I'd be like, no. I am not going to America for the length of a... a... Oh, well, yeah, if NASA asked me, I'd be like, where do I sign? See you later. I'm on a plane already. I'll be there soon. Oh, the ESA. European Space Agency. My wife plays Christmas music whenever she wants. Uh, a pick me up, dude. No worries, Mrs. Bam. Do you know what? Fun fact. I was listening to Christmas music today. Uh, the piano guy. Just because the music is fantastic. Is that 
exactly. So, don't don't get me wrong. I'm not listening to Wham last Christmas. Um, but you know, Christmas music, Christmas music is what. Home Alone. I have seen Home Alone. What are you on about? You've seen the first one. You have I've seen the second one. I haven't seen the third because it looks shite. No, the third one is terrible. Mm. <laughs> it's mm. not worth it. Isn't oh. it a different kid in the it third one? It's different kids, yes. It's just not the same. No, of course it was. Although I will fault to the second one. It has Trump in it, so fuck that. Yeah. Ugh. I'm talking to the Deku Tree now. I have no idea what it's saying, but I just wanna. Just wanna get on with the plot. The platypus, your wife, it sounds very much like myself. The piano, uh, the album I was listening to by the piano guys, the, their Christmas one, so good and it has very soothing music that I can just listen to and work to. It's awesome. Ah, no. Korok, no Korok seeds in this game though. Right. Where does this game fall in the timeline? Is it the hero is defeated? Or no, it's not, is it? No, this is the adult timeline, isn't it? Exactly my point, Platypus. Um, I was just thinking. Because there's this whole debate. Sorry, I'm going to go Zelda nerd on you now. There's this whole debate about where Breath of the Wild falls in the official Zelda timeline. Let me just check. I'm not about to run over my puppy. Okay. Um, if it's in the Hero Loser's time. I'm not paying attention to this text, by the way. I'm sure it's not important. If it falls within the hero, the hero fails timeline, the child timeline, or the adult timeline. Now this happens in the adult timeline. Uh, this game happens in the adult timeline. But everyone seems to believe that Breath of the Wild comes into the failed, the hero fails timeline because of the Lionels. Lionels only appear in the hit. Hero fail timeline, but the Korok only appear in the adult timeline. So there's a whole debate whether where the Breath of the Wild thing follows. There's a theory because, for those who don't know, the Zelda timeline splits on Ocarina of Time into three. Because at the end of Ocarina of Time, you put the muscle back and you go to being a kid. And that timeline goes on to Majora's Mask and Twilight Princess, I believe. But the time you leave as the adult continues on its own separate timeline that goes into, I believe, Wind Waker and then Spirit Tracks or Hour Time Glass, whatever that thing. Spirit Hourglass? Whatever it's called. And then there's, if, you, if the hero fails, it goes on to a separate timeline which has the first game, the first Elder, Adventures of Link, and another one. I can't remember the specifics. But yeah, there's, um... So we're just wondering where Breath of the Wild comes in. And there's a theory that the three timelines actually converge again. That they split off into three different timelines and then converge again on Breath of the Wild. Which would explain why the Koroks are there and why the Lionels are there. I'm really hoping that the second Breath of the Wild that's coming out, I say soon, will clear up, clear up some questions. Because they're, I think from the trailer, it is interesting, I love it. But there are suggestions from the trailer already. That, to, as you can imagine, I'm nerding out a bit now. The Mega Zelda nerds have been analysing the shit out of uh, the trailer. And so, uh, there have already been connections made to Twilight Princess. 
which is in the child timeline, which is some, um, oh, and they, yeah, they think, there's another reference to tw uh, Twilight Princess, uh, from one line in Breath of the Wild, um, Zelda says something of the hours of twilight, and people were like, oh my god, it's confirmation, it's in, you know, same timeline as, uh, Twilight Princess, but I just think it was a turn of phrase. However, there are now links between the second tra uh, the second game, from just from the trailer, and Twilight Princess, which I think is excessively interesting. But then again, it all goes back to the theory, I think, of the timeline merging again into Breath of the Wild. Okay, I'm done. Oh. Swordsman over here. I can like that. Let me continue. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I think I just need to jump and... Yep. There you go. Yep. I think that uh, icon directly by, uh, below you is super handy. Stop. So yeah, the timeline placement of the Breath of the Wild is a fascinating subject of which certain people, if brought together, can probably talk about for days. There was a lot of different callbacks to several games in Breath of the Wild. So yeah, exactly. I mean, just looking around the um, looking around the map, you can see like the, the Lon Lon Ranch and where that and the placement of that compared to different landmarks. I think it's a direct callback to the Ocarina of Time map. But then Death Mountain and as you know, the Death Mountain is in a pretty good place. But if it is Ocarina of Time, why is the castle and the Temple of Time in, uh, now so far apart when, when in Ocarina of Time they were super close together? That's one of the questions a lot of people are asking if it's... Oh no. If it really is related to Ocarina of Time. But there are theories. Ah, uh, the puppy showed you. Full plop. He doesn't even have his own yeah, sofa. Yeah, I need more magic potion. Did, did these grow back? Please go back. They're not growing back. Son of a biscuit. There we go. Done. Yeah, I think I've I've thought uh, actually thought a lot on where Breath of the Wild could come in to the timeline, but I I haven't got anything definitive, unfortunately. I just have a lot of theories. I mean, it could be this. Uh, it could be related to Wind Waker, because I don't, the Great Sea came from the King making a wish on the Triforce. No, I'm, am I going to miss it? I'm going to miss it. No, I'm not. I'm good. Yeah, saw the Ganondorf was taking over the land and therefore asked the gods to flood Hyrule in an effort to stop him. But what if it was then drained for some reason? Then that could very much become then certain islands. But then the Temple of Time is under the sea, so how could it then end up on the Great Plateau? Which is higher up than other places. You see, it's all very fascinating to me. Go on then. Ain't gonna work. Well, I was actually just saying, in case you didn't... That is the question. That is the question. Uh, I need to change the wind direction. <laughs> yes. So the sequel is continuing the plot line from. Oh, I fucked it up again. Continuing the plot 
directly from Breath of the Wild. The first one. Uh, well, there's that figure. Uh, everyone's saying he's Ganondorf. But that's the thing, that's the thing. I have two theories. I have two theories, right? First of all, what you fought in Breath of the Wild wasn't Ganon. It could be Demise. And maybe people just mistakenly called him Ganon. I'm so sorry. I'm not very That's fine. Demise is an enemy. Oh, fuck you. Demise is an enemy from, I believe, Skyward Sword. And he's like meant to be the original evil. And at the end of it, he curses Link and Zelda to constantly be reincarnated. Hence, in every game, that's in every game, you're always the hero Link, and the princess is always Zelda, reincarnated from um, the goddess Hylia. Um, I have to avoid these enemies. Don't kill me! Uh, and Ganondorf, I'm assuming, is meant to be the reincarnation of Demise, which was the original evil. If I'm making any mistakes, by the way, please do correct me, because otherwise my theories don't mean shit. <laughs> um, so uh, my theory is that they mistakenly called the evil creature Ganon when it was actually Demise. I see. Why? Why do you think so? Because Ga Ganondorf is meant to be... Like, in all the games, when you find Ganondorf, except this game, funnily enough, you fight him, you fight him, you fight him, and then he goes, this wasn't even my final form! And then transform into the Demon King, Ganon. Just play on the name, I guess. Ganondorf. Ganon. And so, you were meant to be fighting Ganon's final form. We should have quite a from the the world with bloody hideous. He was an ugly man. Oh no, yeah, he was a totally cool looking character at, uh, uh, in the end. But, so that's one theory, and so you, you actually find Demise in all Ganon. And you now say Ganondorf and then Ganon um, going forward. Or... That's an unlikely theory, I grant you. My, the theory which I think is more likely is because you know in the trailer there's a hand on his chest yes. and all the black ooze is coming out of him. That says to me that... So I want to phrase this correctly because I don't want to piss anyone off. <laughs> um, it's sucking the... It's sucking out the calamity from Ganon. Because the black stuff is, uh, is sucking is clearly calamity. So it, it might be taking the calamity out of Ganon, Dorf? It, it, it's confusing, isn't it? I have no idea what's going on, absolutely. Yeah, you've yeah, played Breath of the Wild. Don't have you? Have I? Don't think you have, honestly. I don't remember. I played a lot. It's true. Um. Why can't I play that? Oh, here it is. So yeah, I think it's got something to do with it sucking out the the hand is sucking the calamity out of Ganon. Dorf. Yeah. Yeah. So that's my theory, anyway. But that doesn't, that won't stop Ganondorf from being an evil bastard. Because I think Ganondorf is just inherently a prick. Am I wrong? Other Zelda fans, am I wrong? Because also, there's several reasons that it's clearly Ganondorf. Doesn't it grab Link too? It does grab Link and so it's meant to, it's this big old green hand coming down. And green is inherently the colour for the Triforce of Courage. Blue is meant to be wisdom and red is meant to be power. It's blue! Is it possible that 
in blue. Shush. I, I can't confuse red, blue, and green. No, I can't. No, red and blue. So, yeah, the green is meant to be inherently the colour of the Triforce of Courage. So, I'm thinking when it grabs Link, it's going to give him a unique power. Do you know what I haven't bloody done? I've just realised. Sorry, everyone. I'm, I just quickly need to do this. Ah, oh, the life. Every time I a stream, I forget to enable the stream chat in my Discord. In case people want to join in. So if you're on my Discord and want to join my Discord and join in the chat, feel free. Uh, you can join in the discussion. Um, so I'm guessing because each Zelda game has a unique mechanic. In this one it's controlling winds. In Link Between Worlds it's um, becoming a painting. I know it sounds weird but it makes sense at the time. So I'm guessing this is going to introduce some sort of new game mechanic unique to Breath of the Wild 2. The fact that it grabbed Link and you can clearly see Link's hand is glowing green. You can clearly see that. So I think it's just going to be a unique power that you have in Breath of the Wild 2. Mm. And also, before I was so rudely interrupted by the missus, um, at the beginning of the trailer, you see these, this green wispy stuff. Now, I, as I've previously said, I'm a Zelda nerd, and I've learned the different fonts of Zelda. Because I wanted to be able to write in Hylia. Yes, I'm a nerd. But at the beginning, the green wispy things shape themselves into the Gerudo font. The Gerudo have their own font, and it, it was that. I haven't translated it, but I'm told yep. it translates into Ganon and Seal. Yep. Why did I throw that? Idiot. Because I am distracted. By an intelligent, By an intelligent uh, Zelda conversation. Um, so that again, it's another clear marker. That is, it, it is in fact Ganondorf, because Ganondorf is Gerudo. Breath of the Wild 2, having a clue. I'm guessing it's going to take a while. It's, it's in development, which I'm assuming means it's been... I, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't start developing it the moment... Actually, no, that's not true. They actually said they wanted to... The guy who made Zelda said they were going to release more DLC, but they had so many ideas for DLC, they decided just to make a new game. How cool is that? Very good question. Um, what, to make Breath of the Wild? I was wondering what language I was, I knew it was a language. They had too many DLCs idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they just decided to create another game. Oh, uh, I don't know the exact timeline of the, um, of the development for Breath of the Wild. I'm going to just say that right now. I have no idea. No, that's fair enough. I can't imagine it was quick, though. So if they announced it this year, I, it's not, it's not going to come out this year. There's no way they can release it this year. If they're using the same physics engine, the same graphics, it is going to reduce the, t uh, the time. You're absolutely right. Which is kind of a good thing. It is absolutely a good thing. So who knows? But I still don't think it's going to be this year. I think, yeah, next year. I, I, you know, I don't want anyone to even hazard a guess when I think it will come out. I'm so looking for. As I said before, when Mage was here, I'm going to take the day off. Oh, not the day off. I'm going to take the week off, and I'm just going to stream it nine to five every day. Oh yeah, you can sit next to me and play along. It does. I mean, let's hope it's not another Prime Four announcement. I'm sorry, Platypus. I don't know what that means.
why I'm being surrounded by spiky things. I think the sound is out again. Hang on. Swing. No, it's all good. Swing. Swing. I don't know. I'm not going to test a lot of things. Yeah. To be fair, the, this El Gato never used to have a, uh, a delay and, until quite recently, so I've had to sort of sort this out on the fly. It is, but it won't stop any lag. It just... It, it, my previous El Gato just didn't work with the PS4, which is why I bought the new one. And then the PS4 broke, and I haven't fixed it yet. Yeah, I completely forgot. Uh, oh lol. They announced Metroid Prime 4 a couple of years ago and I haven't... <gasps> what? Oh, that's bollocks. So, I'll fill you in. Oh, have you read it? Yeah, yeah, I just read it. Ah, right. Yeah, let's hope not. I don't think they do that with a Zelda. I could kind of see it with a Metroid. Because, no, I'm not knocking Met Metroid. Metroid is a great game, but it's not a Zelda. Just because you're a fan of Zelda. But, are there die hard, are there die hard Metroid fans oh, out there? Sure Maybe. I'm yet to meet one. I'm yet to meet one. People are like, oh my god, Metroid! I'm sure they exist. I've come all this way for goddamn nothing. Oh. I keep running into these goddamn spiky things. Oh. Ah. Uh, some hearts, give me some hearts. I need to throw that bomb. Expertly. Okay, where am I going? Up Oh, that's pretty close, I can do that. Death by spike. Death by spiky plant. That's not a good way to go. It's a pretty shitty way to go. Yes, hell, thank you. That is. Death by stinging metal. Hardly dignified. Up ah. the heart, get it. Thank you, that'll do me. Thank you. Oh, this is goddamn noisy, isn't it? Oh, well, I'm hoping it will be released sometime next year. I'm going back to Breath of the Wild. But um, in the meantime, as uh, we were saying earlier, we have uh, Link Awakening. Just forward to. Oh, lovely. No, ah, bugger! Well, that happened. It's, uh, it's understandable, I think. In your opinion, is that in your opinion? <laughs> yeah, good show. Glitch in it. Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah, this is the second time I watched it. It's definitely the third time I watched it. Great. Game of Thrones. Mm. Terrible! What's oh, over now? Oh no, they've already started uh, filming that spin-off series, haven't they? I hope they have different writers. I don't like knocking them. 
that they're not like knocking on the right. But I think they made poor choice. Not only that, my biggest fault with them is the fact that, you know, they, um, they were offered a 10 episode series, but they said no, and then when we, they went with it. Yeah. I know, what the hell is the point? They rushed. Oh, what else should we talk about on this stream? Zelda? Game of Thrones? I think I'm going to be getting a boomerang. I think I'll probably get it now after I kill the uh, mini boss, which is clearly what's about to happen. I actually really... Ha I haven't looked it up myself, but I really... Oh, I thought we knew that was going to happen. Has it been confirmed? <gasps> no. Outrageous. What the hell is going on? I can't see anything. Oh, no, 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 Have they confirmed season five? Season five of Lucifer. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was heartbroken because they ended it on such a cliffhanger. There was another TV show that we were really excited about. Forever? Yeah, Forever. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
Detroit Become Human is one of my favorite PS4 games. Without a shadow of a doubt. We saw the trailer for Kara, which is the short to announce it. Stretch my back hand. Oh my god, I just clicked five times. <laughs> oh god, I've been sitting at this death too goddamn long. Sit straight. And then I just slap, slap. Yeah. again. <laughs> Bad idea. Sit straight. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice. There you go. Oh, good. I am not. Liar. Oh, there's so many to you. Now you know how it felt yesterday when you asked me for a cup of tea after you left the kitchen. <laughs> no, like, no word of a lie. My wife. Oh, no, 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 no. You wanted me to shut the window. <laughs> Sorry, making a cup of tea with my example to the ludicrously of your request. <laughs> my wife was. Uh, Next to the window. And she sat down on the sofa and said, Can you shut the window, please? I'm cold. I wasn't cold at that particular moment. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> I'm sure to most people this stream is just me complaining about our marriage. <laughs> <laughs> God, he's streaming again. He's going to be bitching about the wife. Yeah, you do. Oh god, target my enemies. Yeah, she's mean to me too, don't worry. Nope. Oh, that's mean in itself. I'm not mean, I just I tell the truth when I say you're a lazy bastard. God, this camera's gonna be the death of me. I love the comical sound effects in the game. <laughs> Panda, it's all wise, not just yours, I promise. <laughs> yeah, you're out of numbered here. <laughs> you are, you are. At the moment, you are. It's kind of weird. At the moment, really, really I'm always. She's lying. That's so true! <laughs> No, she's a grand wife. Don't, don't get me wrong. She's very, very supportive. Uh, very helpful. She helps me with all sorts of shit. She even helps me with the YouTube as well, with the company. She helps me design thumbnails. She helps me edit. And comes up with really funny ideas. You literally did buy me all of everything I needed for this. But as a gift, as a present, I like my birthday and Christmas. I know. That was great. It was great. You loved it. I did. I'm very happy about it. I'm very happy to get gifts. Dust collector, you call them. Why that's why it's exceedingly, exceedingly hard to buy you anything. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I think that's actually, again, uh, as Platypus said, I think that's all wives. Where did this go? No, you don't like jewelry either, though, which makes it even harder to buy you presents. <laughs> Come on, throw it already! Well, you can pull it back. I did not know they grew. Really Let me figure out what I'm meant to be doing. Oh, hello. Can I crouch? Yeah, there we go. Snap. Oh, wait, no. Apparently I don't do that. Put it away. Jesus. Come on then. Oh, 
before the banter has stopped. Deep in thought, man. Complaining about me in silence. That son, that son of a bitch complaining about me on Twitch. Oh, doesn't even think about her husband. I thought you'd be uh, thinking of drink for my challenge. Did you really? Well, Cookies will be glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Do, 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 do. Soft drinks. Not only just soft drinks. It's true. Uh, I didn't like that. You didn't like that. Here you go. Sometimes you love it. the danger or the joy of trying new things, isn't it? It is always safer to go for a safe, safer to go for a safe choice. It's easier to go for a safe choice, but it's not always better. Yeah. You go with what you know. Yeah. No. I got an alcohol free beer. Oh no! What is bullshit? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Rubbish. Well, you should have read it better. I should have read it better. Well, to be fair, the gluten free one, right, it says gluten free in massive letters. The other one has alcohol free in tiny ass letters <laughs> on the side. God, what a, what a waste. And thank you for like for coming on on time. Instead, I shall go for a Wagamama can show beer. Pale ale with ginger and lime. It's not also with passion fruit. Is it the one that we got yeah. from Wagamama? Yeah, it's a really nice one. Ginger and lime juice. I actually don't really like beer myself at all. There are several different ones that I tend to go for. Like the one you had. It's not passion fruit, it's ginger and lime. Oh, oh yeah, that had ginger and lime. Oh, well, sorry, I, I had you did have the passion fruit. Well, I finished it because you didn't want all of it. Yeah, it was a little bit too busy for me. Mm, fair enough. Um, I'm not particularly fond of beers and ales. Indeed. Primarily because they're bitter. And it's not something that I enjoy. I, prefer, I primarily go for wines or wines. Indeed you do. Or similar to personal drinks. By the way, platypus, it is really nice. I would highly recommend it. It's quite, quite ref refreshing, actually. Where's my leaf? I very much enjoyed it myself, but I couldn't finish it because it was just a little bit of a Snappity snap. Yeah, yeah, I mean... Yeah. Is it the same thing with this? Yeah. Is it the same thing with this? I love dinner. But then again... Yeah. I like we say, oh, you know, I'm saying I love Guinness, but we've already readily established that I'm Irish. Duh. But then again, I see now that's a, a sweeping stereotype. I'm sure there are Irish people who don't like Guinness. To be honest, you've been to Ireland. I've only been to Ireland once. So far. Yeah, I went to Dublin. It was awesome. And guess what? The, the first thing on my list to do in, uh, in Dublin is factory. Yeah, Guinness is really good. 
DNF is vegan. It is. It, actually, it's been vegan since, what, 2016, I want to say? Because that's when people were like, oh my god, they changed the recipe for, uh, for Guinness. And everyone's like, it still tastes the same, it doesn't really matter. Super interesting. It is. They really do. They made it a proper good, like, user experience, isn't it? Yeah. Starting from the very beginning, where you get um, water from the mountains. And then also, yeah. it's so cool. And different types of breeds as well. It was visually stunning. I would definitely recommend seeing Done. And they It is. To how cool it looks. The wow factor. The wow factor, yeah, I think that's the best. I got the boss here, where the fuck is the boss? Okay, cool. Oh, fuck. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, we went on a whiskey experience. Yeah. Sorry, but I'm not going to dummy a little bit. We went on a whiskey experience. Uh, well, it was. Uh, we made our own whiskey. Ooh -hoo. Yeah, they... They ran through the history, didn't they? And like, yeah. And then afterwards, they were given Do I do this? Damn, how do I get out? And then afterwards, we're giving yeah, yeah. So they gave us different whiskeys for us to try. Oh, am I meant to swing out? I meant to swing out. Um, and we can make our own blend of whiskey. Or, um... Yeah, or literally fill up the bottle with one whiskey that you really like. And we always had the chance to name our whiskeys. What is, do you remember what you called it? A rocking I believe I called mine an alchemist. No, no. I think we still have some left. There you go. Yeah, yeah, the alch uh, an alchemist nightmare. Oh, yeah, we did. How do I continually. Yeah, how expensive it was too. I mean, Jesus. Hurry up! Ooh, oh, there you go. Where am I going? Yeah. Well, we're slightly biased. If, if someone asked me Edinburgh or... Well, I don't know. If someone asked me Edinburgh or Dublin for a little trip, I'd say Edinburgh. Absolutely, because we have experience in Edinburgh. It's true. In Edinburgh, so many more places closer together. So you don't need to travel too much. Yeah, everything's quite close together. You don't have... 
You can walk from where we are to city centre is what, 20 minute, half an hour minute? Yeah. Half an hour minute. 30 <laughs> minute walk. Alright, oh, our hotel to city centre was like a half an hour cab drive. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. We had to walk for about half an hour in order to get to a shop. Or a restaurant or a pub. Yeah, it was like a half an hour walk to the nearest pub. Ended up just ordering from the hotel bar. That was a residential area. Christ alive. It was beautiful. <laughs> it was absolutely beautiful. Uh, but unfortunately, right. there were a lot of things around. Boss fight. I might need to concentrate here because I am rather shite. I need to save this Korok. Oh, look at the little Korok. That's one ugly bug. Alright, I need to remember how to do this. Oh, I think I remember. I think. Well, that's horrifying. Oh god, really? There we go. Right. I got one left, I think. One left. And now I can run in and hit the fucker. There we go. Oh no, I got eight. I got eight! Ah, oh, it's fine. I think one heart damage. God, this camera is awful. If... Nah! Nah, stop doing that. Why is it doing that? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Is it even got down plugged in? Hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Hang on. Plugged in, what are you on about? Yeah, of course it's plugged in. Stop playing silly buggers. Then again, this was second hand. Oh, oh no, I got eight again! Okay. I need some heart. Why can't I get some heart in there? Okay. Thank you for that. Yeah, actually, just in case it's a. Uh this remote is on the fridge, I might need to buy a broken controller. I'll look up later and see how much they are. I guess it's expensive. Hey, killed it! Done! Dusted! Sorted! Jesus.
Just talking to the wife. Swordsman, are you the one who rescued me? I have my thanks. Oh. Yeah, let's get out of here. Come on. Hot container. Oh, I'm not going to wait for you. Let's get out of here. Right, that's another one down. We're gonna get uh, another orb. And then we're gonna go to the next place, I guess. Mm. Makar, or Maker? Maker Makar, I'm guessing. Oh, how could you be annoyed at that car? It's so cute. <laughs> Give me that orb. Which you keep in the leaves of your tree? Well, that seems like very safe now, does it? For all pearl. Do I have to sit through their console? Jesus. Come on now. Oh, what song is this going to be? Hang on. Sounds familiar. I think they've used it in another game. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, that, that was a great little song. Loved it. I think, because uh, they're now going to go spread some seeds around the map, I think you, know, you can actually find them. And they aren't doing well for some reason. I think it's the whole evil Ganondorf thing. Probably. So, what do these seeds, like, grow? Is it more Deku trees, or is it just other trees? And he might have said, I wasn't listening. Right, that's what's done here. Let's go head out. See where we need to go next. Where's my boat? Oh god, camera, please. Oh god, camera, please. I actually already had it on my mat. Uh, oh, I've got a letter. Good evening. We have one letter for Panda. And it sneezed in my face. Dear Panda, if you're reading this letter, it can only mean you've peeked into one of our many post boxes. I am indebted to you. I'm very sorry I let you leave without a thank you. Please accept my heartfelt apology along with my thanks. We cannot do much to help you, but we can at least do this. If we get any letters or parcels for you, we will deliver them in a post box near you. If you see any wiggling post boxes, please look inside them. I suppose you have a long journey, blah, 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 blah. Included a gift. Small token. It's going to be a joy thing, isn't it? Oh, no, that's Peter's heart. Nice. Very, very nice. Shall we speak? You keep saying Ganon, but he's Ganondorf. What? Right. Uh, how do I save again? Here. Yeah. Right, guys. I'm going to call it an evening here. We're going for two and a half, uh, doing a quarter hours now. I think it's as good a time as any. To call it a night, I'm gonna blah, 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 blah. allow me to trip over my words first. I'm gonna have to take the puppy out soon, anywho. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, it means a lot. Um, just gonna post some cheeky links in the chat now. 
go on for my Discord. Feel free to come along and have a chat. We um, chat about all sorts of stuff, really, and it'll notify uh, you'll get notified as and when I upload stuff or start streaming. And it'll be greatly appreciated if you check out my Patreon. No pressure, no obligation whatsoever. Uh, just if you can spare any pennies, and if you'd like to spare any pennies, it would help me out in uh, towards my goal of doing this full time. Uh, but again, no pressure, no obligation. Uh, check out my Twitter. I normally post about my um, live streams there, along with the Discord. YouTube, I upload all my streams. Uh, to YouTube if you want to watch them again or if you miss them and want to watch them I upload them all to YouTube and again the Patreon links at the end but apart from that thank you guys so much for tuning in does mean a lot I'll be streaming again on Thursday around the same sort of time I'll probably just be continuing uh, with Zelda if I'm honest with you probably with a few more of these as well again that's it from me have yourselves a good week guys Thank you again for tuning in, and I shall see you on Thursday. Take care, thank you very much. Have a good evening.